Okay, so I've been waiting to do this, and it is Zendikar pre-release weekend. I got my booster box today. Came with the buy a box promo, which I have to admit, I, I like the art on this. And the uh, the card itself, if you're going to make a cleric deck, obviously this is the one that you want to use. Uh, I don't, I have no idea how many clerics and cores there are out there, but whatever. It's uh, I like it. I always like getting the buy a box promo. And the Dragon's Horde, Hackettstown, New Jersey, also gave out these to me and they're great because like they can't they can't hold tournaments they can't give these out and i i don't really get these that often and when i do i'm really appreciative so i thank the guide bunch so we'll open these first uh before we get to the booster box these are all foil so i guess we'll open that one last we'll start with a or excuse me theros and uh you know who knows there's a lot of you know who knows uh oh and good you know what i did just because I don't feel like dicking around tonight, pardon me. There we go. Just want to open them up. All right. I saw a code. That's okay. By the time you see... Oh, see other side for code. Okay, good. Uh, beyond the booster. Oh, yeah, cool. All right. So, hey, an assassin trophy. Always good to get. Uh, gray, Gary, gray merchant mess. But, uh, we got a Thassa's intervention. Eh, but you know what? Hey, whatever. So that's kind of cool. Coria, which is one of my favorite sets uh, ever released, really. I just really enjoy it. So maybe there's something good in here. Uh, there are still a few Coria cards that I am looking to get that I do not have, so that's nice. I'll open that code later. Uh, Venerated Loxodon, eh. Forbidden Friendship, uh, and uh, an Emergent Ultimatum. Uh, but I'm still thankful. I'm still grateful. Now we are going to open the foil promo. All foils. Wow. Very nice. Oh, I have to state, state this up front. There's a chance that my son might try to FaceTime me. And so the, the video might cut out. If that happens, it happens. Whatever. Um, but, oh, good. I don't have one of these. So that's a good one to get. I don't have a conspicuous snoop. Very nice. Uh, frantic inventory. Eh. And we got a... Oh, cool. Wow, that's really nice. All right, very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with this one. I, I'm pleased with all of them. It's very nice at the store to do that. So I will put those where they go. I really do like the buy box promo. And so let's let's do what we, uh, what I've been planning on doing. Let me see, wait, I gotta get the code. I gotta get the code for this. Here it is. Uh, I will redeem those later because I do like to play. Uh, so I, I'll just put those up there. All right, so here it is. Zendikar Rising. What would I like to pull from this box? Um, there are, there's not really a card that I want to get. Like, oh, I have to have this, you know, this card. Uh, I would like to get the Nissa of the Bows or whatever, the uh, green, black Nissa Planeswalker. I think that's a pretty, I just like the art on it. And I like the green and black are my favorite colors. So it kind of makes sense to want to get that one. There are some good green and black creatures in this set. Big ones, uh, demons and vampires and stuff like that that I would like to get. So hopefully I can pull some of them. Uh, here is our Zendikar Rising Expedition, which we will open last, I guess, because, you know, that's, that can redeem a box or it can just doom a box into a oblivion for being bad. Um, all right, so here are our stacks. Does anybody else think that this core... Uh, who is this? This is Nahiri? Is that is that who she is? Isn't that Elsa Jean, the porn star? I, I'm just I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. It could be. I who knows? I'm not sure. I've never seen one of her videos. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's see. All right. Uh, so let's just start. Let's now. I, these are prob are these the Japanese packs with the pull tab? Yep. All right. So the rare is going to be right up front. And that's, that's the way it is. I kind of like the uh, the suspense of getting them in the back. All right, so I like the full art planes. And I got... This is a, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had a pre-release pack. I opened one of those. Not foil. I've got the uh, foily one of these. So I might very well end up with a play set, depending on how this goes. But So the first pack of the box is a foil rare. And <laughs> in the same pre-release pack that I pulled... I got two of those. So these, uh, all right. So not off to a very auspicious start. Uh, what is it? Um, but that's that's the way it is. And so how will we do this? We'll put the, uh, here, we'll push those back. We'll put the, uh, I guess we'll put foils over here. 
put the regular rares there and we'll put some mythics up there. And so here are the, I'm not going to go through these. Uh, I'm just not, I'll go through them later when I'm cataloging stuff and whatnot, but I just assume not bore you by looking at commons and uncommons that you can look and find online, whatever. So, uh, pull tabs. I'm not, I'm not really good at the pull tabs, I have to admit. So, but whatever. Okay, so hopefully we'll get something good. But I do like these full art lands. I'll probably sell them. Just, uh, I'll keep, uh, there are a certain number of swamps that I want to get. Oh, all right. So this construct character, myriad construct. Uh, 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 each non, wow. With a, for each non-basic land your opponent controls. That's pretty interesting. When a myriad construct is as well, sacrifice and create. Uh, hmm, all right. I can see where somebody would do shenanigans, I believe is the term. Uh, all right. Now, what you so we already got one foil rare. I would expect to get another foil rare in this box, and uh, I'd like to get a foil mythic rare to be honest with you. But that's what we'd all like to get. So who knows? Uh, all right. So let me see here. Here we go. Uh, this is just the token cards. Uh, all right. So full art land. Oh, look. This is the third one of these. That I, oh no 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 no. Okay, I've gotten the white. Uh, red one. I have not gotten the... And look, this is a borderless one, right? Yeah, so that's a good one to get. All right. I like it. Very nice. Those lands are good. I've been playing on Arena. Those lands are actually very helpful. I love that they don't come in tapped. And uh, uh, are they shock lands? No. I mean, shock lands are more useful, but they do cause you the pain. And uh, it, it, I can see these... They're better in a two-color deck. Certainly than a three-color deck because, you know, you might need that other color. But I like those lands, so very good. Like them. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, there's that. Full art. And a shoal, soul shatter. That's where you can get rid of Ugin. So that's always a... a whoop, wait. Stop. Drop. Drop. Okay. Sorry about that. Got to Look, there's a place for everything and everything in its place. Okay. Just got to gotta do it the right way, people. All right. And we got those, and we'll go through this. So what I do when this is all over, I'll throw away all the wrappers and crap, and uh, here, let's move things up a little bit. Uh, I will keep one of each card, certainly of the rares and the unco uh, commons and uncommons, and I just throw the rest away. I honestly do. I just It's too much. For the most part, they're worthless. And here, let me straighten the camera out just a little bit. Okay, good. So all that good stuff happens after the video, which I don't have to you know, bore you guys with. But so far, I've not really gotten a rare that I really like. I, 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 look, I like the lands. Those are always good. Can't complain about the lands. And uh, am I just going to put... Look, I'll put the tokens and that, that crap over here. Put the lands there. Okay, so... And... Okay, so another uh, foily foily. And, all right, well, here, our first mythic is uh, Elsa Jean, the porn star. And... Uh, but, look, that's, 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 that's the way it is. You, know, you get what you get, and you don't get upset. That's what my uh, uh, teacher tells my son all the time, and it's true. So, just I'm here for the fun. I'm here for the experience of opening this, and uh, I'm not gonna buy. I'm a patron of Rudy's tonight. He is going to be selling the uh, tonight Friday uh, Zendikar Rising Collectors Boosters. They're probably like four hundred and something. I'm not doing it. I just I'm not doing it. I'm uh, the extent of the Zendikar Rising product that I'm gonna buy after this. I'm going to get a bundle when they come out. It's going to be a little while. They're delayed. Uh, I'd like to get the um, commander deck, the blue-black commander deck. Uh, there's a lot of blue-black cards in it that I don't have that I like. I like the flash mechanic. And beyond that, you know, I'll, I am going to get one collector pack, not box. I'll get one pack. I like to get one from each set. And that's really it. Uh, I just it, Wizards has just put out too much stuff. Swarm Shambler. Apparently, this thing is, like, broken on Arena. And... Uh, it, it's, it's one of these cards. Is, is, is Scoot Swarm is the other one? Or, I'm not sure. It's, it's one of them that creates a bunch of tokens and it's, it's crazy. So, but we'll see. So that, that's, as I like to say, interesting. I don't exactly know. Uh, but again, a lot of people are figuring out these cards on Arena and we'll see. I, I'm not that clever. I am nowhere near as creative to come up with those. You know, I just like to, big creatures go stomp things. That's the extent of my decks. Okay, so. And it's red and it's oh that's a, all right that's that's not a bad one to get leyline tyrant that's a good mythic that's a mythic our good oh yeah and it's, do we have any goblins in here because uh, our friend mtg unpacked is going to be uh all that all about the goblins really all right let me just make sure i didn't uh ah come on i do not like this please please we're just wasting valuable time 
Okay, onward. I can't, I, I have not mastered the full pull down. All right, so that and, uh, okay, so a foil. Oh, God. oh, I got this one in the pre-release pack too. I don't want white cards. Uh, all right, so pickaxe, whatever. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I do fully expect to get a, uh, well, you know, in a way, I've already got one. The uh, the borderless uh, rare card, that very well could be it. So who knows? Maybe I'll get another one of those. Not sure. So that dragon's a good one. I, I, I'm a fan of dragons going way back to revise when I first started playing the good old Siobhan. So that's a... Uh, uh, all right. Good Plains and Inscription of Abundance. Uh, all right. Now I want I want I want to see stats on the bottom. I want to see a creature. I don't want to see a spell like that. Okay. So, but two mythics in the first stack. That's not bad. Maybe you'll get more mythics. The, the last two boxes I've opened in Akoria, I got four mythics in the M twenty one booster box. I got three. I I'd, I really like to get four. Uh, honestly, hey, any more than four would be wonderful. Okay. It's a goblin. Chim chim chiri. All right. And undo inversion. Which is uh, one of those. I, I I like the idea. I like the. I just wish they didn't come and tapped. God, I hate. I cannot express how much I hate tapped lands. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about the reserve list lately uh, by the YouTubers, the big famous ones like the professor uh, who put out a video saying the reserve list is a lie. I don't know if it's a lie. I just don't like it. I, I don't like the reserve list, and I am somebody who owns reserve list uh, power cards. I, I have a Black Lotus. I have, oh, that's fun. This is a uh, commander that screws with the sacrifice decks or a creature that screws with the sacrifice decks. So that's an interesting one to get. I like that. All right. Uh, I own three moxes, a time vault, which, uh, or, yeah, is that right? Time vault? Uh, it's not a power card, but it's almost a power card, but it's really good. It's on the reserve list and all that. Black Lotus, three moxes. And if Wizards Tomorrow came out and said, all right, we're going to put out Vintage Masters as a paper product and we're going to, have all new art of the Power 9 cards and all the other reserve list cards, I wouldn't be upset at all. Not at all. I want people to be able to play with these cards. It's uh, uh, Because when I started playing Revised in 1994, it was, late 1994, I, I could have gotten... I, I didn't know about Power cards. I, I didn't know how good they were. I, I honestly was, you know, I was just getting used to Revised and everything. I didn't know that there was the, this whole world of unlimited cards... Uh, and alpha cards that were just great. I mean, uh, and to me, it's it's a crime now that the, all these cards, are they're just getting more and more expensive. You are pricing... Uh, j j look, I can't afford to get any more power cards. I'm glad I got the ones that I did, and I spent a hell of a lot of money to get some of them. And I'm not looking at them as an investment, and I just like the cards. Now, I realize there are a lot of people out there, Rudy from Alpha Investments, who has a ton of these things, and I, I, to me, the, the reserve list is ill-advised uh, because nobody knew what magic was going to become 20, almost 30 years later. My goodness, we're getting there. Uh, and, you know, Wizards is this big, woke, leftist company. You figure that they're there for the little guy and that, you know, they despise the rich, even though they are rich. Um, that you have the ability to make it so that people who do not have a lot of money can afford to get these really good cards. They'd still be expensive, but they wouldn't be thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and I do think there are a, a, there's a, a group of people out there who would still always want to get the original, like an original Black Lotus. That's going to still retain value. Will it go down for a little bit? Yes, it will. But I think the price would eventually go back up. And then there are, okay, so this is the new uh, Ritual of Soot or whatever it's called. Uh, I wish it was four or less. That would really be good. But... It is what it is. Um, I, I do think that there would be an initial dip uh, in, let's say, moxes, unlimited moxes, alpha moxes, and all that. But I think they would go back up because the collectors are going to always want the originals. Easy, easy. And people like me, look, I would instantly want to get a mox sapphire and a mox pearl, the new variety. I don't care about getting the old ones. Uh, I would just want to get those cards just to be able to play with them. And right now, the only way you can do that is by proxying them, basically. A lot of vintage tournaments will allow you to proxy up to 15 cards. So you can 
write Mox Jet or whatever, or my, you know, Max Sapphire on this island, and that's a Mox Sapphire, and you can't, ha can't have any more than 15. But it would be nice to be able to own a Mox Sapphire, not the original, but just one to enjoy vintage. And I, I, I really just think Wizards is short-sighted, and I think that they have, re they have printed cards that were on their reserve list before. Uh, I think Basalt Monolith was one, and nobody freaked out because that one isn't like worth a lot of money. So they have, there is precedent for them printing things uh, that were on the reserve list. I think they should do it again. I would love to see somebody actually try to sue Wizards and see these assholes get called out in public. And Wizards would be doing the fans uh, of the game, a majority of players who want to just play with these power cards. And these other reserve list cards, it's, it, it's a crime that in order to play with uh, just a regular revised dual, uh, regular revised dual end, they're at least 150 bucks for the cheapest ones right now. Most expensive ones, 500, 600, that, that's Wizards, that's a crime. I, I, I mean, I'm not, ex um, yeah, I am exaggerating. But it's ridiculous. We don't have that much money. Okay, so another... I have three of these now. I have three of the... I have one full art one, extended art one, and two of these. So, look, they're good. Uh, you know, I probably will put some of these on eBay. I'm not wedded to this set. So I can keep some of the cards that I want, which really right now aren't that many, uh, and sell some of the others to get the cards that I do want. Uh, so I just wish they would get rid of the uh, reserve list. Uh, I, I personally don't give a crap about these asshole investors, MTG Finance, who, uh, uh, oh, I have millions of dollars in magic cards. It's, okay, Scoot Swarm's the other one. Uh, one of the, one of the, uh, the other one, uh, whatever it was, one here, let me just see, it's in here, right? There it is, Swarm, Slam, Swarm, Shambler, and Scoot Swarm. One of these two is like broken on Arena and it might have to get banned, we'll see. Uh, but that's the biggest argument to me. Wizards is, uh, it, it's, it's infested with leftists who are, you know, the, the, these woke social justice warriors who hate the rich and, you know, want things for the little guy, uh, yet the company will not do anything to prevent uh, these prices from just keep going up and up and up. Uh, just, just re, just get rid of the, get rid of the reserve list. It's, it's absurd. And that's coming from somebody who has a bunch of reserve list cards, and I wouldn't care at all if any of them were reprinted. Do it for the little guy, wizards. Okay, so we're about halfway through this box, and eh, you know, it's like we haven't gotten a mythic in a while. I haven't gotten a Mythic in a while. I'd like to get a good green Mythic. I'd be very happy with that. And that's not a good green Mythic. That's one of these Wayward Guide Beasts. I tried using this in a Trample deck in Arena. I'm still playing around with it, but we'll see. But I'm not very happy with that. Uh, yeah, I hope there's a good Expedition and Box Topper in, in that pack over there, because I'm not that impressed with this box. But look, if I, if I liked white and red, I'd be you know, jumping up and down. I'd be very happy, but I'm a green-black player, and I really haven't gotten any good green-black cards. And, well, here's a black one, and, all right. Hey, look, I like this. Uh, Null Priest of Oblivion. It's a vampire cleric. Uh, enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. All right. That's not bad. I like that. I like that. So that's, that's a good one that I would be happy to keep and put in the binder. Uh, there's a ton of these that I really don't care about. And... I'll, I'll list them in the coming week, but, you know, if I can just get enough money to buy some, some of the, these cards that I would like, like the Nissa card if I don't get it, which it doesn't look like I am. Oh, this is another good one. This is another good one that people have been talking about. Vampire Rogue. Uh, I, I do like Vampire Tribal. I have a bunch of vampires. I don't have a vampire deck. I'd like to make a vampire commander deck. Uh, so this is a good one to get. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll keep that one. We all have our, uh, the certain cards that we like. That, that we are partial to, that other people might not really care about. So, anyway. Uh, the other thing about this re re reserve list, uh, there's some legal jargon that, oh, you made a binding agreement, even though there's no, like, physical signed paperwork about the reserve list at all. Uh, so I think Wizards would do okay in court. And I th think of all the money that Wizards could make by reprinting those cards in some way. Uh, that, that, to me, would negate the... Uh, uh, the th the worrying about the threat of a lawsuit, and we get a Shatter Skull Smashing. This is one of those flip lands, right? Yeah. Eh. 
Hey, look, this, this is just the way it is. I'm not, I'm not really getting the cards that I would like, uh, but they're, you know, whatever. I, I do like that that red dragon. That's that that's a nice one to get. And I got the uh, the the porn star planeswalker. And let's see. And oh, good! I got a lotus cobra. I wanted to get one of these. That's I forgot. I don't I don't own a lotus cobra. Now I do, and it's an alternate art one. Very. Nice. I'm very happy with that. That's great. That's fantastic. All right, I'm very happy with that. That's a good pull. I completely forgot about the Lotus Cobra. And again, I'm not looking to get four of them. I, if anything, I like to play Commander. I like to put Commander decks together because you only need one card. And uh, one of each card, except for the basic lands. And that, to me, is just... That's a, that's a great pull. I'm very happy with it. All right. So I guess that's enough. About, okay, so I got a foil, Foily Plains. Another red card. Uh, <laughs> this is my stamp promo card from the pre-release. Ah, so I guess if, if, if I'm a red and a white player, I'm, I'm jumping up and down with this box. All right, we, so we haven't gotten, really, we haven't gotten a Mythic in a while, all right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed it. That is a Mythic right there. Uh, I just wasn't paying attention. I was too busy rambling on about the reserve list. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. All right, so this is like the last stack we're on now, and I would like to get one more Mythic, I have to be honest. Can it be a green one, please? Or a black one? Ay, ay, ay. All right. Uh, nimble, ugh, blue. That's, that's what you get. All right. All right. So will the reserve list ever be gotten rid of? I Probably not, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But I just want to make the game affordable to people, and right now that's just not happening. And we get... Oh, all right. I've got all red mythics. Morag, Fear of Akum. I actually like that. Uh, it, that's just a fun, cool card to have. I'm glad I got it. So four mythics, not bad. Right, that's, that's... I'll take it. And we're down... Oh, you got a good stack left. All right. I have a uh, saffron olive Horloon Minotaur, whatever that thing is from uh, Jumpstart. That 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 that's a fun kind of commander type card. Oh, oh, and it is a. Uh, <laughs> this is not the green creature we wanted. It's one of those. Uh, it's all right. Hey, it's the way it is. All right. Hi, Elsa. Okay. All right. Constructs. So I, I get. I mean, I really can't complain. I, I oh, that's a fun one to have. I actually, I actually did want to get one of those because the blue black commander deck that they're going to be releasing this can go very well in that one. And I, I like a lot of the flash blue black creatures that are out there. So that's a good one to have. Happy with that. Getting down to the bottom. So four mythics. That's that's not bad. I'd like to get. Yeah. Look, you want to get at least four. I've gotten four. Anything beyond this is gravy. Uh, I've gotten two of the uh, flip lands, the, the, the regular flip lands, which are nice. Uh, this one people have been talking about, uh, that this could be like in a legacy type card, or I don't know if Vintage would use it. or I really don't know. I mean, Vintage, it's they'll find their niche, but whatever. All right. Wow, we're down to the last, last few. All right. Come on, Nissa, show up. Yeah, I, I don't think that the chances of getting this are very good at this point. Now, did I get a second foiler? I don't... Oh, good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to get one of these, too. I actually like the... Look, I wanted to get a black creature, green creature. Well, I got one of them, and I like Hydras. I do have a Hydra deck that that can go in, so I'm happy with that. Did I get a second foil rare? Let me see, because I know the very first one I opened was that one. Did I get a second one? No. So I think I think I could still get one more foil rare, unless I overlooked it, which is entirely possible. I was distracted for a great part of this video. Uh, so we'll see. There might be another foil rare or foil mythic in here. That would be wonderful. Uh, and it very well could be in there. I don't know. I might have overlooked it. So blue and legion angel. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Whatever. All right. And down to the last five packs or six packs here. It looks like it's five. All right. I haven't gotten... Uh, I haven't seen many people pulling the Jaces, but whatever. 
I really would like to get a Nyssa. Maybe it's possible. Maybe maybe there's like a fifth mythic in this box. I don't really get fifth myth, five mythics. Uh, okay, so this is a curl. I don't even want to read it. Uh, it's, just, it's blue. I don't care. Uh, I'll probably put a lot, like, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, X five blue rares from uh, Zendikar Rising. You know, maybe people will bid on it. That's what I'll probably end up doing rather than selling them individually. Just lots are easier to sell. I, I don't think there's anything here. There's that artifact that's uh, pretty valuable. I forget. It's like it can copy a bunch of different spells. But we have a... All right, it's not a foil rare, though. Mm, all right. A, oh, good. Yes, I wanted to get this. Drana, the Last Blood Chief. Uh, I have the other Drana from Zendikar, one of the Zendikar sets, but this wanted to get one of these. Very happy with that. Five Mythics. All right. That's, that's, hey, good stuff. All right. Three packs left. Uh, and look, maybe there's another foil. I'll, I'll look and see if I, I might have missed a foil rare. We'll see. Oh, this crap I got to clean up. Black. And, and, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, that's like the most valuable card in the set, and I now have it as a as a foil mythic rare. Uh, all right, so this box just transformed into a home run box because of this. Uh, all right, I'll take it. Everything else is gravy and a Nahiri lithoforming. So wow, that's okay. That's yeah. All right, so I normally don't get good pulls like that. I just got one. So this. Hopefully now, now the Zendikar, the the expedition can send this box over the, way over the edge. So let's see if we can get anything good in these last couple of packs. It's possible. You never know. All right, and it's all right. Another one of those lands, red blue. All right. I remember still pulling a couple of revised dual lands in my box of revised many many moons ago, Christmas 1994, I think it was. Is that right? Yeah, Christmas 1994. And I still remember it. Got a uh, volcanic island and a plateau. All right, last pack. All right, let's see. Something good. Something good. Something good. Uh, it's not going to be that good. Uh, Felidar Retreat. Well, that's not really one that we wanted. But, hey, look, I got a foil, lithoform, whatever. Uh, so that's excellent. Okay, so the Expedition Box Topper. Easy, easy. We don't want to ruin what it might be. All right, so which... Okay, so this is the back. Now, these are not... Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, Windswept Teeth. Oh, okay, so it's a fetch land. Uh, sac pay one life, Windswept Teeth. Search the library for a Forester Plains card. All right, look, you want to get a fetch land. And they're going to be reprinting the enemy colored fetch lands in Modern Horizons 2. Uh, I do I do actually own a Windswept Teeth. This one might go online, or I might put the other one online. Who knows? Uh, but I'm happy with that. So this is a... It's a really good box. I, I can't complain. I mean, look, I, I pulled... Let's see. Oh, and yeah, we have a uh, foily... I thought I saw a foil... Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. All right, so of the Mythics, we got just regular Mythics. We got one, two, three, four, five. Drana, Morag, one of those super spells, the Dragon, and Elsa Jean. And we got uh, Foil, Mythic Rare, Lithoform Engine, which is fantastic. That's that's excellent. Uh, what, a, what a way to end the box. And we got a... So those are two good, uh, I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Uh, we got a windswept teeth. And now regular rares, just, just rares we have here. Eh, yeah, sell it, eh, 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 like it. It's one that I like that I'll keep. Uh, I'll keep that one, eh. All right, yeah, that way definitely keep that one, keep that one, keep that one, eh. I'm not so sure about the scoot swarms. I like the lands, I would keep that one. I like the piggy. I'm not really that sold on that. So uh, those are good. And so look, it am I I like to just open the box just for the experience of opening the box, seeing some new cards. I, I'm not blown away by this set. Uh, I like to Corey a lot better. 
but there are some cool cards in here, and there are some cards that I would use in Commander decks, and hopefully my son will get back in the Magic. There was a while where we were playing, and he enjoyed it, but he just kind of lost interest. Uh, hopefully he will gain interest again. And so this is my box of Zendikar Rising. Uh, I will, looking forward to next week, I'll get a few more things open up on the channel. And in the meantime, I hope whatever you get, you get what you want. Talk to you later.